celebration of the Lord's celebration. The breakthrough, I can't hear you give the Lord some shout of praise. I want you to do something before I preach. I'm going to be very, very brief. Because a lot of great men of God have spoken. I mean, Dr. Tudor, why Dr. Tudor be smart for his preaching? Nobody can preach again. Not as of the Bible or the rest. So, I want to tell you something very short. And I'm trusting God that it will take you for the next 17 years. What are you going to do? But before we do that, I want to walk to five people and with a very serious face tell them, I love you by force. So we walk to five people and tell them, I love you by force. This one that five people tell them, I really want to say, I love you in my voice. I love you, my voice. Some of you are sitting down. You are not telling your friend. I hope you feel it. Make sure you stand up and walk in. Two more people are telling you. I really want to see you. I love you in my voice. Now, uh, let's I was telling Pastor Brian that I'm just enjoying the atmosphere. See. It is exciting to see people God give gifts and they are using it to glorify God. Yeah, I fell in love with a young man that was singing from Kumasi. Before I preach, I want to be able to thank God for the life of Pastor Brian because <laughs> hold your fire, hold your fire, hold your fire. I'm going to let you clap until your hands get off. So, because when I get to the room, I felt something very strong in my spirit. That the Bible says, He that walks in the wise shall be wise. And I said, this man of God has no idea, people that is meant to be. People that are going to be great leaders of this country in the body of Christ. Now here is out of this place at IS, international apostles, prophets, evangelists, teachers. I believe it or not, something is falling on you guys right now. And it's going to explode. It's going to explode. There's something about the gift of God. Uh, I was very young like you when I encountered God as a student. And I never knew that God would bring us this far. Uh, there are people in this room that will pastor churches in America, in the United States, in China, in Australia. If you are one of them, you are shouting in love. And so, Pastor, thank you so much for the past 10 years, the impact. There are people, the first time you started, they were in the meeting, they are not here now. On the second year, there are people who are there, they are not here. 
Probably some of them are pastors somewhere. Only heaven can tell. But this generation needs people like you. And God will you to bless you. I pray for the presence of God about the all things you are going to do. I pray that when we get to come and see the whole land, what we need now is revival. That's right. And revival needs to change for the better. We need revival. And as you go around, may the Lord use you to stand revival all over the places. I pray to you different places. I pray that new mantles will fall on your life. New grace will come upon you. The greater the grace, the greater the exploit you have. And I pray that God will protect and preserve you. Now, the next 10 years, may I just move to the stadium of the The next time we come, it will not be just UK and America. But people who come from all the five continents of the world. And great things are going to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, like I told you, I'm going to be very, very, very brief. But I want something to follow you. Many years ago, after I was doing all night and doing, I was in daily power, serving strongly. I hear my spiritual father, Reverend Yakovil, here. And so I'm just coming to clean and make a way for you to come. We are doing all night in the deep power, and then I, the Lord showed me something. Because today I'm going to pray that God will open your eyes to see something. Yeah. Number one, the only way you will not destroy your life is that you have the picture of your future. Once you have the picture of your future, you will not go and mess your life. The reason why Joseph was able to survive a peace, Potiphar, a prison, and move from the prison and became a prime minister is because he had a picture of his future. He had a dream, and in the dream he saw his brothers and their dad, and they were all barren. And because they were barren, he never missed his life. Amen. There is a spirit called the spirit of self-destruction. And that one is very important that is trying to mess your life up. It depends on the kind of people you are moving with. It affects you about not the picture of your future. And so, as a result of what God showed us, it moved back closer to some people. Now today, whilst I'm going to preach it, Something is going to fall on your life. Something I can only explain, but that's what the Lord is telling me. Something is going to fall on your life. And when you encounter that thing, right after Ides, you are going to explode in another dimension. Some of you are going to receive the intensive memory to stay in. Some of you are going to receive failures to have scholarship to go to school. Some of you, it will end up, you will end up in the United States. Some of you in Canada. Some of you in Australia. I thought your army should be that one and this one. Hallelujah to Jesus. But I'm going to give you four things. Very, very, very brief. Hallelujah. And I want you to trust God. Amen. Look at your event and the person. I will be the president of Ghana and I will employ you. Tell the person, I'm going to be the president of Ghana. How many of you really want to be just say? I'm sure as a future president in this country, there is a future team justice in Ghana. There is a future vice president. Who is the future president of Ghana? Give the Lord a shout of praise. I want to say to all the men of God here, I see uh, Dr. Daniel and Martin for the first time. One of God, God bless you. And all the it's awful. It's good to see you. Um, Father, let your way go forth on him. Bless your people. And let his future leaders 
be filled with your spirit. A man can do nothing except to be given to him from above. I pray that the glory of God will fall in this place. In Jesus' name. If you don't want to go by the same way, you can shout Amen. How many of you know that was the man we here? And let me tell you something that will be free. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, um, look at your people and say, I have not changed my mind. I still love you by force. Tell the person, I have not changed my mind. I still love you by force. Uh, uh, I just saw your time. If you show up here, please let's work on yourself. Amazing fathers. Uh, one of them is a man of God that has spoken. Uh, he has represented our country very well, all over the nations of the world. But well, listen to me very carefully. Hallelujah. Um, man is not just a, a thought to reap an action. That means that every action is a direct product of a thought. And so, and an action will be the habit. And the habits will reap a kind of time. That means that you don't determine your destiny. You determine your character, and your character will determine your destiny. Now, here it is. It's going to be very useless for all these great men of God who are listening to. You listen to all of them and not develop a godly character. Because that is the challenge of our generation. So we say, Amen. I believe that Pastor Brian has brought all this work of God so that you receive the invitation. Once I'm preaching now, those of you that are going to go in your spirit, something will follow you. Because we to be caught in your spirit. And it's possible that it can be transferred, the way it was transferred from them to us, it will be transferred from us to you. Amen. And so you say, open your spirit. Hallelujah. Something is going to fall on your life. Yes. Now let us start from Isaiah chapter 11. When you read Isaiah chapter 11, from verse number 1, I believe that you can put uh, the scriptures on the, on the screen. Is it possible, Pastor Brian? Can you put it on the screen? Can you verse it? And there shall come forth a roar out of the stone, stem of Jesse, and the branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Bible says, the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon you. Today may the Spirit of the Lord rest upon you. Yeah. And he started talking about the Spirit. The first one is that, he said, the Spirit of the Lord will rest upon you. So when the Spirit of the Lord rest upon you, it comes with certain manifestations. And the first manifestation is that, after the Spirit of God has come upon you, the first Spirit that will come is the Spirit of Wisdom. So today I'm trusting God that you receive the partition of the Spirit of Wisdom. Yeah. So we say, Amen. Somebody say Amen. Let your Amen be louder than that. But let's say, you went to school to acquire knowledge. So no university can give you wisdom. You can be very knowledgeable and be a fool. Thank you. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse number 17, Apostle Paul said that, I am praying for you, that Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, huh, will give unto you what? The spirit of what? The spirit of what? So if it's a spirit that I profess, I will give it to you. But when God speaks and we hear this revelation, so what we hear from God is information, but what we hear from God is revelation. So when God speaks and we hear, it's not information. I'm not too sure that's what it is. Every 
problem we have, every problem I have, every problem you have is a wisdom problem. If you increase your wisdom, you increase your wealth. You don't have another problem. You are not, if you are going to make the right choice, it will develop the spirit of wisdom. You want to sue, and you tell me this.
the secondary school. These are some of the rules of the school. Go to, you wake up in the morning, you can have some school, you are there.
So go and see so many people is watching before you look into the place of your life. Can you imagine being a house boy in a house to sleep with your master's wife and then we make your prime minister?
escucha ese cuchillo y dice entonces oí que eso justo no lo vi para yo voy a discutir que esto se necesita en el cual ha sido 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 en el cual Je suis en train de me 
It's so 
Boaz begat Obed. Obed begat Jesse. Jesse begat David. Have you seen a good way to get ah, the message? If you were just lucky, let the message fell away. This is sex. So that we can't get a job in the world, we don't have to do it. Look at your brother, excuse your face, and tell your brother, brother, don't pass the rest of the world. Yeah, it's not so 
know Christ, life after this world will be better for you than you. So listen, Christ is you. It's the hope of God. It's the hope of the world. It's the hope of the world. And today, I want you to say, if you're a man of God, you are a pastor, then come to the altar. It's a meeting church of humanity and divinity. You can be a pastor. I had a child of Papa Dewey, somebody came to preach, and I'm coming to the message. When everyone else goes to the altar, you join. Humility is the key. You can say you talk about pride, but the devil has to have to do The broken and the contract are God will not despise. Thank <laughs> you. 